Well, I'm focusing on catching bass for this session and I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful of catching one. Even though we've got a very, very bright day, almost a cloudless sky and I'm starting fishing mid-afternoon. Um, the sea is relatively calm. There's a little bit of a ripple, but basically it's calm. So it's bright, it's sunny, it's calm. But I'm still hopeful. Normally I would go early morning or late evening when it's conditions like this. But the reason I'm hopeful is because we've got a big increase in bait fish that have come in close to shore. Things like uh, sand eels and white bait. Now, for example, I was uh, mackerel fishing recently and uh, spinning and had no problem catching mackerel, had some great sport. And the mackerel that I took home were absolutely crammed full of, of sand eels. And I saw, saw a lot of act, surface activity with the bubbling, with either the mackerel chasing the, the sandals or the white bait or the bass. And I hooked, hooked a mackerel, and when I was playing the mackerel close to shore, there was actually a bass trying to get the mackerel. And I was seeing, during that session, I was seeing the bass um, following some of, the, some of the mackerel spinners in, but without actually taking. So... In other words, I know there's more mackerel, more bass around than there was maybe a, a few weeks ago. So that's the reason, reason I'm hopeful. So we're focusing on bass, nothing else. And I've got bass lures with me. And I've got a mixture of plugs and soft plastics. I'm not going to go through all of them. I'll maybe n narrate what I'm using uh, as I'm using them, and particularly if I catch a bass. But to give you an example, plugs i've got a maria angel kiss one, 140 had a lot of success with that plug over the years i've got a few ima hound lures 125 different colors these i find great at this mark because this mark is all rough ground and the bass can take at maximum casting distance or they can take at your feet and sometimes this is a long casting plug and it's quite useful if you can at times if you get a plug that you can cast a lot further than, than your normal than your normal plugs so there's another example i've got the old trusty well-proven rapala j13 the f years ago that was the only plug that we used to use before they plug fishing became more more popular and they and the manufacturers started to develop in uh, di plugs that, that of all different depths but a proven bass catcher so we might give that one a go um, soft plastics I've got some weedless some not fish black minnow 120 12 gram another proven catcher another fish fish black eel heavier 20 gram and bigger great sandy limitation and another great sandy limitation proven bass catcher is the scaries the scary zeal. So a mix. So what I'm going to do is try the different lures. See what works. Have a little go with one lure. See if that tempts anything. If they're around. Have a go at something else. And just, just see what happens. Okay. So I'm going to be fishing about three and a half hours up to high water. Which takes me into the early evening. And might stay a bit longer. But I'm hopeful of catching a bass it might not be a big bass and fingers crossed I will catch at least one I decided to start fishing with the IMA hound plug which as mentioned is a distance casting plug and I can cover a lot of ground the mark is a mix of big weed covered rocks some of which expose at low water and deep gullies with depths ranging from about 15 feet at low water to about 30 feet at high. At the bottom of the gullies is weed and kelp beds and smaller rocks with the occasional small sandy patch. You can see me holding the rod up high here. This is because the plug is being drawn over one of the large rocks that rises up from the seabed and at this stage of the tide there's not much water over the rock. Holding the rod up high like this helps to work the plug shallower and avoid snagging. After about 15 casts with the plug, I decided to have a change and try a weedless soft lure, the fish black minnow. It was very bright and I thought I would try fishing deeper right down in amongst the rough ground where there might be some bass. 
The method is to cast the lure out and let it sink down to the bottom. Then twitch it back, bouncing it along the bottom. Then work in the depths, through the kelp and over the big rocks, back to the shore. I often use this method on the kayak when fishing rough ground in depths up to about 30 feet. And it has proven to be successful. Well, I forgot to turn the camera on to be honest with you, but what I've got here, which is a shame in my excitement, the reason is I thought I hooked, hooked a fish down in the, this fish down in the um, kelp, down in the, with the fish black minnow working it, bouncing it along the bottom. I thought, oh, it's a wrasse. Didn't turn the camera on. And, and until I knew it was a bass, and it is a bass. Yeah, that method, if you've, never, if you've never tried it, sometimes, you know, if you get down, deep, get down in amongst the rough ground, particularly when it's very, very bright and sunny, um, you get down there, uh, sometimes the fish can, fish can stay deep. So it's almost as if you, you're fishing, as if you're ras fishing with these, with these weedless soft plastics. Well, many of you may not like, like this, but this one's coming home. I've just measured it. It measured just a fraction under 50 centimeters. Now, those of you that have not watched my videos, I have, we obviously we got the lower size limit of 42 centimeters, um, but I have an upper size limit where I don't take bass that are 60 centimeters and above. So I like to take the, the, the smaller ones, obviously legal, but smaller ones. And the reason for that is, is that the bigger ones are usually females and their egg production is huge compared to, say, for example, you've got a, a, a sexually mature female of, let's say, 42 centimetres, the legal size, the eggs that they that, that female will produce. Now, you get a 60 centimetre female bass the increase is huge, absolutely huge. So I, I have a, an upper size limit. And for those of you that haven't seen that video, I did the first bass I caught this year on the kayak was a six pound bass and that, and, uh, that was never gonna, never gonna come home. But this is the, we are allowed to take bass now. We're allowed to take two that meet this legal size limit of 42. So this one is well over, but it falls under uh, my upper size limit and this is the first bass that I've taken home I took one the whole of last year we were we were allowed to take take them because before that um, we weren't allowed to take them we're allowed to take two and this is this is my first this year um, so this is this is going to be going to be a, a, a real treat well it made a made a real mess of the fish black minnow and as I said I didn't think it was a, a bass um, I thought it was a wrasse the knocking it felt like a wrasse um, hence I didn't turn the cam the I just forgot to turn the camera on so apologies that we did we you did I didn't get the initial take and the initial fo footage but fingers crossed maybe we'll see if I can uh, catch another one Right, well I got that take this time. I don't know what, whether this is gonna be a wrasse or a bass. This is another decent one. Yeah, it is. It, it, 
it's a deadly method that that bouncing bouncing the lure down right down in the rough rough ground so you you're not trying to avoid the rough ground you're actually trying to to seek it out just as if you were fishing for for wrasse Right, this one, this one, I'm going to put back. It, it's legal. I could take it, but we're going to quickly get it, get it unhooked, and get this one back. Fantastic. Right, let's get it back. And away it goes. Fish black minnow again. The only problem with these the lures is they don't last very long. Uh, they get beaten up, and uh, and you have to change the change the soft plastic. Um, but they are there's no doubt about it. They are deadly and absolutely ideal. I mean, there's others I use like Sluggo on a weedless jig head, but they're absolutely ideal for working down in the rough ground down in that kelp, down in amongst, amongst those rocks. Bass, bass are basically midwater species that will go up and go down, but sometimes it pays to fish for them down, down deep, down in amongst the kelp, down in amongst the rocks, particularly when it's very, very bright, like today, when they may be reluctant to, to, come, up to come up to the surface. Right, off we go again. So again, just let it drop right down to the bottom. And then, twitch it back. Loads of bait fish, loads of sand eels down here. Yeah, it's absolutely alive with them now. Um, that's why the fishing has improved. Well, it's gone quiet now, um, but I've seen a bit of turn activity further out. So what I'm going to do is, just for a while, change the, change the lure, we'll put a plug on. And well, I can get a decent distance. I mean, it, it might be mackerel um, chasing the sand hills and the turns above but you but you never know and this is this is one of these ima hound copies um there's your there's your ima hound and that's the copy can't remember the name of it now uh, if anyone's interested i'll let you know but because ima they stopped making the hound um but they're back making them again but this one cast just as well the action is exactly the same um, it is more or less exactly the same as the original IMA Hound. But I'm going to put that one on with that colour and uh, see if that tempts anything. If not, if it's, if it's going to be 
soft plastics are going to be the answer today. Um, I'll go back to the soft plastics. But, yeah, I mean, it could be like many times with bass fishing happens, that could be the only action that I'm, that I'm going to see. And I uh, won't, won't see another bass, but we'll, we'll keep trying. Splashing. We've got splashing to my left. Yeah, it could be bass uh, chasing or mackerel. So, but the idea of using the IMA hound now is to maybe uh, get a bass to think it's a mackerel, a small mackerel, and go for it. That's the theory. Got, oh dear, I've got sp splashing about 50 yards out in front of me. And uh, I've cast way to the left, so I'll try and get this in quick and see if that's bass chasing something. Yeah, there's a hell of a lot of activity. I can reach them, so the interesting is that, yeah, I'm right amongst it now. There we go, there we go. Uh, it, it's mackerel, so not what I'm after today. But always, always interesting to find out: is that bass caught, bass chasing, or is it mackerel? Well, even though it's it's bass I want, not mackerel, I'm going to I'm going to stick with the plug for a while, just hoping that, uh, as I mentioned, that a bass might might think it's a small mackerel and go for it. Well. Can't see. I think this is a this is another another mackerel on the plug. It looked like all I was going to catch on the plug was mackerel, so I decided to try the fish black eel and work it the same as the black minnow. However, for this mark, the 20 grams of the black eel felt too heavy to work the same way and would be better suited to a straight retrieve and pause, all fished in deeper water. The black minnow at 12 grams is heavy enough to cast out and get down to the bottom, but much easier to twitch back. So I changed back to the black minnow and this is the result. Well, I was just going to say I'm going to call it a day early because I've got noise pollution to my left of boom boom music. Um, and I'm, I am going to cut it short, this trip. This is going to be the last last try. But again, this, this is a bass on the, on the black minnow, just keeping it down, uh, down in the rough ground. Um, down in amongst the rocks and amongst the kelp. lovely little bass and it's gonna go straight it's gonna go straight back this one I mean it might be yeah it might, it might be legally a, legally a keeper keeper just about I don't know but I'm not gonna bother with measuring it and we'll get it back let's have a quick, one last quick look at it run away it's gonna go oh 
off it goes. Well, that's it. I'm going to call it a day now. I did intend to fish for another hour, but I, but I decided to to call it a, a day early. Basically, it's got, it's got it's got a little bit quiet now. I could still I could still catch more, but I'm I'm more than happy uh, with, with what I, with what I caught. So, as I said in the intro, there I, I tried different lures, but what worked today and was the actual keeping the lure down deep. Uh, when I tried with the the plugs even though some of the plugs they dive dive about three or four feet and I'm fishing in probably about 20 depends on the tide 20 to 30 feet of water and I only work shallow um, it didn't tempt a bass it just all I was catching was mackerel which I didn't really want today um, so the method that worked was the the weedless soft plastic in this case the fish black minnow working it down letting it go down right into the into the rough ground and just not just reeling it in where it would come up quickly just twitching it and, and then slowly reeling it so basically keeping it keeping it as deep as possible and eventually of course it, it comes up to the surface and i think obviously i can't be sure i think what might happen sometimes with bass and it's worth trying for you those of you that are fairly new Sometimes when you're fishing over rough ground and, and there's a bit of depth and it's a really bright day, bright, bright and sunny, sometimes maybe the bass like to stay deeper, stay down, down amongst the kelp, rough ground, and, and maybe then uh, if sand eels or, or mackerel come over, then they, they'll go up and, and, and take them. Um, but I've often found that this method is successful uh, on the kayak as well over rough ground in anything from say 15 to 25 30 feet of water is to keep it down in the rough in the rough ground you risk tackle losses of course keep it down there and as i said instead of just a straight a straight crank just cranking it in um twitch it make it doo, 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 dart like that almost i suppose it might give the uh, impression to a bass that it's a it's a fish fish trying to get away and panicking panicking trying to get away um, and that's the only method that, that worked today so I'm absolutely thrilled I, I, I was I said I was hopeful um, and I was right even though it was so bright it, it's because there it was just alive at times with surface activity with that was the mackerel chasing chasing the the sand hills and I'm sure I'm sure a few a few of the bass actually were feeding on the mackerel as well okay so once again i hope you found that useful and many many thanks for watching